Hi guys, Pat the Plumber here, and in this video we're gonna go through a step-by-step -step process on what I do when I get called out for a service call for no hot water on a gas-fired water heater. So let's get started. The first step is doing a quick visual inspection, checking for water at the base of the tank and if the status light is blinking on the gas control valve. I will go over status light error codes later in the video. Remove the panel concealing the burner door and sight glass. Look through the sight glass to see if the pilot is lit. If the pilot is lit and there's no status light blinking, test the thermal pile's voltage to see if it falls into spec. If the thermal pile test fails, replace the thermal pile. If the test passes, replace the gas control valve. And if the pilot flame is out, we can move on to relighting the pilot. Before lighting the pilot, it is best to confirm that there's a gas supply to the residence. An easy way is checking another gas appliance such as a fireplace or stove. If there's no gas supply, check the storage tank, or if it's a municipal supplied source, check the gas meter. If this valve is in a horizontal position with a pin or lock through the hole, someone wasn't paying their bills, and the gas supplier shut off the gas to the residents. Now that we've confirmed a gas supply to the residents, check to see if the gas valve to the appliance is in the on position. The handle parallel to the piping is on, and perpendicular is off. Spark the igniter a few times to ensure that it is sparking properly. Turn the gas control knob to pilot, depress the knob and immediately spark the igniter. Once the pilot is lit, continue to hold down the knob for roughly one minute and the status light starts to blink. Your gas control may give you an error code at this time. One flash every three seconds is normal operation. If the pilot goes out after you release the knob, take the following steps. This device right here is a resettable thermal switch. If the combustion chamber gets too hot, this device trips and once tripped, the pilot won't stay lit. To reset, lightly push on the center button. If it clicks, you know it has been tripped and you can now try to relate the pilot as per previous instructions. If a trip thermal switch was the issue, the most common causes are lack of combustion air or an obstructed exhaust. Inspect the intake screen at the base of the water heater. If clogged, vacuum away the dust. Inspect the baffle underneath the draft hood to ensure that it is installed correctly. They are commonly misaligned due to transport. If misaligned, it can cause the exhaust not to escape properly. Use caution when inspecting the baffle. Make sure that the water heater is off and has had time to cool as the exhaust system can get extremely hot. If the pilot didn't stay lit after resetting the thermal switch, inspect the wiring, making sure that there are no breaks or loose connections. Next is bypassing the thermal switch. Run a jumper wire from connection to connection or place a metal bit across the connections as I've done here. Try relighting the water heater and if it stays lit, you know the thermal switch is faulty and requires a replacement. This jumper is just for testing purposes only and the water heater should never be run with this in place. The thermal switch is a safety device and should be replaced if faulty. If the pilot flame still won't stay lit at this point, it's time to test the thermal pile's voltage. If the test fails, replace the thermal pile. If the test passes, replace the gas control valve. I'll have video links at the end of this video on how to test and replace the thermopile, as well as how to replace the gas control valve. If checking for error codes, remember, one flash every three seconds is normal operation, two flashes is a weak thermopile voltage and should be confirmed with the voltage test, and four, five, and seven flashes are issues with the gas control valve and require it to be replaced. Well guys, I hope this video got you in the right direction. And like always, if this video helped you out, liking, commenting, subscribing is always greatly appreciated. Till next time.